good morning children i hope class 8 children are watching this video in this class we are going to see msc today moral science and in moral science we have first chapter respecting for one's own self here you see in this chapter we will learn about a lady abla bose so let's start the chapter this is your book moral skills and first chapter you have respect for one's own self so we will learn about self esteem and we will learn about a lady her name is abla bose but, but before starting the chapter few things i would like to share with you few things i have written just you go through properly and this notes what i have prepared for not only for this chapter for each and every chapter that will be useful and you must do first point i have written you must read out this chapter loudly at least five times many times while taking classes it has been said that when you are reading your book read loudly by opening your mouth so again this is being repeated when you are starting this chapter just after watching this video you need to write this chapter this uh, this chapter you need to read loudly five times at least second points i have written underline difficult words in your book and write those words in your notebook so you need to know what are the difficult words and difficult words means words which you don't know or first time you are saying or meaning you have Uh, not written or you don't know the meaning or you have doubt in meaning so those are words are required to be written so those words first you underline in your book and then you write in your notebook and uh, by the help of dictionary you must see your uh, word meaning also and that must be remembered third point i have written, written remember word meanings and spelling so that is required to be remembered and spelling spatially is required to be remembered you need to write and practice and uh, how you will remember this spelling these words difficult words what you are underlining you need to write at least three times these all the words in your notebook so that you can remember properly next point i have written you need to write all the question answer in your notebook and you must remember so this is not a new thing for each and every subject when chapter is completed you write question and answer and not only for this exam sake just you make your habit after just completion of the chapter answer uh, you must remember of all the questions next and very important point that is last point you have after completion of each story if it is there in your book you must summarize the story and your and that should be written in your notebook so especially in moral science i hope in each and every chapter you have some or the other stories small or big stories you have that is required to be read properly and you need to summarize in such a way that you should be able to speak as well you should be able to tell the story in your words as well and for uh, that what you need to do after completion of chapter in your words you need to write in your notebook what these six points i have explained now this will not be repeated again and again for each and every chapter these things you must do by yourself for each and every chapter so first time i am explaining these all the things these six points what i have written that is for each and every chapter and word meanings are very important word meanings and spelling that you need to remember so let's we will start our chapter now so here you see we have nuts and bolts it means main objectives or main points of the chapter here we will go self esteem is the confidence and satisfaction one has in himself or herself so self esteem is what self esteem means self respect so self respect is what is the confidence self esteem is the confidence and satisfaction one has in himself or herself means if you are having self esteem it means you have 
confidence in you you believe in yourself and even if you satisfy also with what you have so self satisfaction and self confidence you have together that will be called self esteem it is how we show our values to the world and how valuable we think we are to others it means it is how we show our values means what qualities we have what value we have and how we show ourselves to the world and what we think about others so that is that is also self esteem positive self esteem gives us the strength and flexibility to change our lives and grow from our mistakes without the fear of rejection positive self esteem is what gives us the strength and flexibility it uh, uh, gives a, uh, uh, it gives uh, strength power and flexibility flexibility as well to change our lives and grow from our mistakes definitely some of the other mistakes every day we do but it gives strength to recover that those mistakes to rectify those mistakes without the fear of rejection here it has been written you see do you understand the meaning of self esteem are you confident of yourself do you respect yourself does it matter for you what others think about you or your appearance do you have the fear of being ridiculed do you take your decisions yourself let us read the chapter and find how we can build our self confidence and why it is important for a cheerful life so here these are the very basic question you need to ponder you need to think deeply before starting the chapter you need to know suppose first question is there do you understand the meaning of this, uh, of self esteem so already it has been explained what is self esteem self esteem is self confidence with satisfaction or uh, self uh, belief believing in yourself that is self esteem are you confident of yourself just you need to ask yourself you need to think that do you believe that uh, you have confidence in yourself do you respect yourself does it matter for you suppose generally it happens that uh, we think uh, before doing anything uh, we think about others what they are thinking what they might be thinking about us so does it matter for you what others think about you or your appearance do you have the fear of being ridiculed do you uh, take your decision yourself these are the questions you need to think about and then you come to the chapter and before that just you see look at the features of the self esteem and try to find some more features so if you have self esteem just you realize just you think yourself just you ponder contemplate that self confidence good self care and ability to solve problems and ability to trust others besides these what other qualities you will be having if you will be having self esteem so it is better just you go through first chapter then again you come back over here and write these four boxes in in these four boxes what uh, words you can write so we will start our chapter now here you see let us read the following piece of information about lady abla bose here you see lady about we will learn about lady abla bose who gave the indian women suffering from social mal practices enough opportunities to build the self esteem here you see who gave this uh, lady abla bose who gave the indian women it means before Uh, uh independence or in british rule by that time women were suffering from social mal practices mal practices means bad habit what bad habit we had in society means uh, women were not respected and some mal uh, bad practices uh, were prevailing by that time uh, so women especially women were suffering so Uh, this lady lady abla bose who gave the indian women who were suffering from these mal practices enough opportunities to build the self esteem in the late 19th century and the early decades of the 20th century indian women were a distressed lot distressed meaning has been written so they were very in in very distressed uh, distressed form 
or a situation just you see distressed means suffering from extreme anxiety means they were not happy they uh, they were not respected uh, they were uh, suffering from these malpractices and all so they were distressed a lot they were suffering from low self esteem owing to the lack of education facilities discrimination and economic subordination so this is well known uh, they were suffering from low self esteem and they did not have any confidence because they were separated out from the society because they were lacking from education they did not have any facilities discrimination was there means they were getting discriminated from the uh, man and economic subordination was there at this juncture it means at this time lady abla bose the wife of great scientist sir jagdish chandra bose dedicated herself to the cause of uplifting these women from their present condition and giving a new meaning to their lives this is required to be known sir jagdish chandra bose very well known person he was he was a scientist i think you know so he was uh, that abla bose was wife of sir jagdish chandra bose who was the botanist uh, if you know and he was the person who uh, told the world that uh, tree is also having plant is also having life so here you see in next paragraph lady abla bose realized that without the emancipation of her home women folk india could never achieve progress and prosperity as a nation lady abla bose realized she came to know that without emancipation means without freedom without liberation of her women folk means what culture was there for women if she is not getting free or not getting rid of those practices india could never achieve progress and prosperity as a nation she believed that emancipation was possible only by reinstating self respect among them means again that is required to be developed among them this self respect self esteem she also knew that self esteem rested on the pillars of education self reliance and economic freedom so she also knew that self esteem this self respect what uh, was lacking among women that the this is uh, when it will come if education will be there self reliance will be there or economic freedom is will be there it means these are the pillars of self esteem means if someone will be well educated definitely he will be having or she will be having self esteem self reliance and definitely if educated person will not go in poverty they will be having economic freedom so uh, she set upon the task of offering the indian women all these facilities to help them rise above their state of deprivation and humiliation so she set upon the task of offering the indian women all these facilities means education and whatever facilities were required to uplift them or for getting self esteem she started uh, uh, providing those facilities to them so that this deprivation or lacking of everything and humiliation this state should not be there in future her understanding of the social maladies means social mal practices what bad culture they had and the plight of the indian women was evident in the paper that she presented before the bengal women's education conference so these mal practices what was what was prevailing by that time it was opened up or it was uh, shown in bengal women's education conference by this lady in the paper she said in the present stage of world's progress 
widespread primary education has come to be regarded as an essential condition for a nation's efficient existence. In the special sphere of work which has been assigned to women in India by the traditions and customs of different societies, a systematic course of primary education has proved by its results to be of inestimable benefit. Means, uh, uh, she said that in present stage of world progress, if uh, uh, that has been written that if primary education will be given to women, definitely it will be benefited for the nation. The custom of early marriages has put a limitation on the number of years that can be utilized for primary education. A girl finishes her educational career before she is 12 and begins her married life within a year or two after this. So before uh, uh, freedom or when India got freedom before that some these are the practices were there. Uh, when before the age of 12 girl uh, used to get married. So edu education was not there among them. With this objective, Lady Abla Bose founded the Nari Siksha Samiti in 1919 with her renowned husband, means with uh, Sir Jagdish Chandra Bose. Uh, one Samiti was formed by Lady Abla Bose in 1919 as in the name of Nari Siksha Samiti. She was supported in her enterprise by the mayor of Kolkata, the illustrious Chitranjan Das, who gifted her a piece of corporation land. So, Chitranjan Das, he was also a social worker. He is also very famous during that time. Chitranjan Das, who gifted her a piece of corporation land. Her efforts were also appreciated by the great social reformer, Iswar Chandra Vidya Shagar, these are the person, they are also very famous during British era, Gurudev Ravindranath Tagore and the revered sister Nivedita, these are the person who helped her. For the upliftment of the tribal women, a center was established by Lady Abla Bose at Thargram. You can see the picture also, in Thargram, this uh, 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 for upliftment uh, up of the tribal women, a center was established. Lady Abla Bose correctly analyzed and identified the break of the joint family structure as the primary cause behind the wretchedness of the young widows of Bengal. So, Lady Abla uh, Bose correctly analyzed, she analyzed that and identified also in joint family what breakup was there means so all were moving towards the nuclear family that was the cause behind and why this young widows were in those pathetic condition that was not that their condition was not good. She therefore decided to recruit teachers among uh, from among these women to run primary schools and facilitate their economic independence. So what she started, she started primary schools and she recruited them, those who, those widows were there, were there of uh, uh, tender ages. They were trained at Vidyasagar Bani Bhavan for this purpose. Later a child marriage declined as a result of the efforts of the great social Crusaders like Raja Ram Mohan Roy and Pandit Iswachandra Vidyasagar. She directed her efforts towards educating and rehabilitating the distressed and economically displaced young girls and women. So they were trained at Vidyasagar Bani Bhavan for this purpose first of all and later a child marriage declined as a result of the means child marriage uh, has been banned. And that was the result of what the effort what they had put who Raja Ram Mohan Roy, Pandit uh, Iswachandra Vidyasagar and this lady Abla Bose. Lady Bose extended relief and facilities to women in the remote corners of the country. She established the first three girls school in Kolkata 
but from 1921 her activities focused toward the villagers post independence means after independence lady abla bose's objective of spreading education and income generating training programs among the women of the underprivileged section of the society has evolved into government policy but she will always remain a pioneering figure means found found those who have founded something pioneering figure in the field of indian women's emancipation so she will be known for the uh, pioneer leader means the first leader who has given liberation or emancipation to indian women she extended the promise of education and self reliance to the suffering women and helped them retrieve self esteem uh, self esteem and confidence so she extended the promise of education and self reliance to the suffering women and even helped also to them to retrieve it means to get back that self esteem and confidence this last words has been said by jo clark just you see golden words self respect permeates every aspect of your life means self respect permeates means pass on every aspect of your life it is required to be there in all every aspect of your life if self respect will not be there self esteem will not be there self confidence will not be there in your life you will not be able to do anything so that is required in each and every aspect of our life so in this way we have completed this chapter so first of all as i said in the very beginning what things are required to be done that must be done and that is not for this chapter for each and every chapter that is required to be done so at least you read out thoroughly properly each and every line underline difficult words write down in your copy and lastly you summarize this chapter and write in your notebook so this with these all the things what i said that will be your homework and in this way first chapter has been completed next day we will see question answer until then thank you